Hey everybody, this is Matt with MattsMath.com. Thanks for joining us today as we talk about adding and subtracting polynomials. We are in the Common Core Standard of Expressions and Equations, and we're going to be using math properties to create expressions that are equal to each other, especially by simplifying them. All right, our guiding question today is how can we combine polynomials? We looked at a previous lesson about how, what are polynomials and all the definitions that are entailed in that. Now we're going to talk about how do we add and subtract them? How do we put them together? We have an equation like this. Holy cow, look at this. There are way too many letters there. But you know what? You're going to be required to add and subtract these together and combine them. So let's learn how to do that. Pretty basic, as long as you understand what like terms are. And that's going to be our first task. Is What are we going to do when we're combining equations like this? In other simple equations we've looked at, like linear equations, we've looked at how to combine them. Putting the x with the two x's and putting the numbers with each other. We're going to talk about like terms first. So let's do that. Like terms. If you don't know what like terms are, they're numbers or variables that can be combined. Right? Pretty simple. Numbers can be combined with other numbers. 1 can be combined with negative 1. x can be combined with negative 3x. But negative 3x can't be combined with 1. So let's look at some examples here. We've got negative x plus 3x equals 4. The negative x and the 3x are like terms because they can be combined. Again, like terms are anything that can be combined. We combine those together and you get 2x. So 2x equals 4. Here's another one. Like terms. We've got the 20 and the minus 4. That becomes 16. And then the other thing is the negative 2y and the 43y. Bring those together and you get 41y. You can combine these but you can't combine the negative 4 and the negative 2y. All right, and then it gets even crazier when you have exponents and a whole bunch of variables in the same term. So look at this first one. They're with variables. They must have the same exponent and the same amount of variables. So for example, these two are like terms, the x squared y and the 4x squared y. You can't combine the x squared y and the x y squared. The variables are the same, but the exponents are different. You can't combine them, okay? So these are the two that you're going to combine now, the 2xy squared and the 6xy squared. Those are the two that you can combine. And then obviously the only two that are left are the negative 3x squared y squared and the negative 5x squared y squared. So those are like terms, okay? You can only combine the ones that have the same variables, the same amount of variables, and the same exponents on each variable. All right, so let's talk about how do we add polynomials. Let's look at this. 2x squared plus 3x plus 2, and you add that together with negative 5x plus 2 minus 3x squared. What are we going to do? Let's go through the steps, okay? First thing we got to do is we got to stack them up. Stack up addition, stack up subtraction. That's going to be the easiest way to get through this, okay? So we put them on top of each other, 2x squared plus 3x plus 2, and then we put it on top of the other equation, just like this. Okay. Now you're going to notice something, that the like terms are not stacked up on top of each other. Well, that was the way they it was originally written. So the next thing you have to do is rearrange. You've got to move things around. So you've got to put the x squared over here. You've got to bring the negative 5x over to the 2. And you've got to move the 2 over there. And what are we doing? Remember what this form is called? What kind of form it is when you put the exponents that a greater degree up front and then go down in descending order from there? It's called standard form. Okay, you want to write them in standard form. Definitely going to be the easiest way to do that. Okay? Alright, so let's see what it looks like now. We're going to add the like terms now that they're written in standard form. We've got 2x squared plus 3x plus 2, negative 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 now. Okay? Now we just add down, just like what we do if we just had 2 plus 2. Nothing different. Add them together. We get 2x squared minus 3x squared equals negative x squared. And then we get plus 3x minus 5x equals negative 2x. And then we get plus 4. So now this is our new equation when we combine both equations together. We get negative x squared minus 2x plus 4. Okay? Not too bad. Now, nothing really different with subtracting polynomials. Same thing. Let's do the same two equations, except let's subtract them. Let's see what we end up with now. Same thing. Stack them up. Put them on top of each other. And notice I put the minus out front. Still have the same symbols of each of the guys there. And we have to arrange it first. So we've got to make it in standard form. 
bring it around, bring that one around over there, and then bam, this is what they're going to look like now. Now we're going to subtract the like terms. Here are the two equations. Now the first thing we have to do once they're stacked up with the subtraction is the minus of a negative, the minus of a negative there, and the minus and the positive there. You've got to switch the signs around, okay? So this one becomes plus. This one becomes plus as well because a minus and a negative is a plus. And then this one is a minus, okay? So now, just like before, we're going to add them and go down. So we have 2x squared plus 3x squared gives me 5x squared. 3x plus 5x is 8x. And plus 2 minus 2, big fat nothing. All right, so there we go. 5x squared plus 8x, that's it. Pretty simple, huh? All right, why don't you try these two on your own? We've got 10y squared plus 3x minus 9y squared plus 4x. All right, remember, just a little hint there, remember, take that minus, make this negative, and make this negative, and then combine them. If they're not in standard form, put them in standard form first, okay? Look at this next one, negative 2y squared plus 3x minus a negative 11y squared minus positive 7x. Now notice when you write these in standard form, this one is x and this one is x squared. Can you combine them? It's going to be a little harder to think about. All right, let's move to number three. Here we go. They just keep getting longer and longer. Holy cow. All right, x y squared plus 3x squared minus 10y plus 3x plus negative x, 7x plus 3y minus 2xy squared plus 2x squared. Write them in standard form. It's going to be the best thing to do first, okay? Stack them up and then add them. This one's already stacked up for you, but it's not written in standard form. So you're going to have two different things. Remember, you can't combine x and y squared and x squared plus or times y. you got to move things around. All right, how'd you do? Having trouble? Definitely compare the two, the two different like terms you forgot to go in there. All right, and here are your hints. Here are your answers. y squared minus x. 9y squared minus 7x squared plus 3x for the second one. And there are the other two. Okay, if you missed any, definitely go back and see what you're doing wrong. Remember, write them in standard form and then add them on top of each other. All right, well, that's pretty much it. Do you, can you answer this question of how can we combine polynomials? I bet you can. Pretty easy. So many letters, though. No worries. I bet you got it. All right, well, that was it as we talked about adding and subtracting polynomials. This was Matt with MathsMath.com. Thanks for joining us here today. Check us out on Facebook at Solving Maths Problems, on Twitter, MathsMath, and enjoy math.